Hey everyone, how you doing? How's your day going? Anyway, my, my, my morning started off this morning about 4.30. Um, it was kind of dark as it usually is. So I get up in the morning and I said, Honey, do you want to go to the program this morning? She's like, yeah. So quick smile, she jumps up in and off we go. So we're going over there and I wasn't quite sure what to expect. So I've never actually been to one. Uh, you know, anticipation was there and a bit of anxiety and stuff. You know, what do we do? What to expect? I don't know. So we went. Sure enough, all, all the lights are on right outside. But then we walked in, it was all dark and everything. And then all we hear is like the singing, um, people singing, praying and stuff, like in the dark. It was quite a somber experience. Um, the singing was actually quite beautiful. They were, um, how do you say it? It was uh, reverberating all through the room, like, how do you say it? It uh, resonated through me. Yeah, I, I think that's the word. Uh, anyway, so after, you know, after an hour, I think it, it seemed like an hour, uh, Someone turned on the lights, and everyone gets up and they go and form a little circle and everything. And the idea behind the prayer group is um, during Sunday services, if you would like someone to say a prayer for you or something, or a whole bunch of people, you write a little message and you put it inside the uh, little prayer box. And there is Saturday morning around 5 o'clock, everyone gets together and then they, they kind of formulate some kind of plan to pray for all those people who left little messages and help and everything. So everyone gets together and joins in, and it's like... Um, I think they call called prayer warriors or something. I'm not sure what the term is. But yeah, it was quite good. Um, anyway, they're all talking about um, things like, hey, welcome you guys, how's things? Anybody want to share? So so someone was saying something. And all of a sudden, they like, hey, Francis, would you like to share something? And I was like, oh, I was like where are you going? Like, like I was kind of put on the spot. So I said, um, share, me? Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. So sure enough, uh, you know, I, I started talking. And next thing you know, I was rabbiting on about all the stuff that I read in the Bible, things that I remembered. I don't know how I remembered, but everything just kind of came together. Um, I mean, the things I was talking about, uh, they, they kind of formulated a theme. Uh, well, basically the theme was about something like, um, how was it, you know, you, you, you should lead by example and, you know, be content with what you have. Uh, it, it, uh, I remember the quote and stuff, uh, Hebrews 13, uh, verse 16, and... Proverbs 20 verse 7 and also connected to that um, with the leading by example be content what you have so uh, Proverbs 15 16 uh, but I'd, I'll try and make a video on about it later on but I'll try and remember the things that I said anyway. anyway it was an experience and I thoroughly enjoyed it I recommend for everyone to go and give it a go don't just go and try it you know don't make it like you're trying on a pair of shoes or a shirt or something uh, that shouldn't be the experience that you should be going for uh, when you're ready you'll get there uh, like I always say, some people just take a little bit longer to get there. Amen. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.